Hi, I'm Margie with Full Motion Education, and this is part three of our multi-part series, Receive Your Mass or Optimal Pronation Mechanics. And of course, if you haven't watched parts one and two, please go back and do so. I highly recommend that you get bomber solid with the preceding parts before you try to progress this exercise. So, just like in parts one and two, we have the basic general form we've been working on. I'm not going to review the general form in this exercise. I'm going to assume that by now, you, you wouldn't even be trying part three unless you were bomber solid in part one and part two. So part three, we're going to be focused on, I just want to remind you in pronation, mechanics, the foot lengthens. The tissue on the bottom of the foot lengthens and the foot widens. So we're just going to be focused on a feeling of length of the tissue on the bottom of the foot and the whole foot will lengthen. So you're going to uh, come into the starting position this time. Just take a step forward. You don't have to lift the back heel because I'm actually going to have you lift the front forefoot. You can't really do that. Well, you can, but it's a little crazy with the back heel up. So it's a slightly different getting into the starting position and then it'll look the same. So you're gonna just take a step forward and then I'm gonna invite you to um, lift your forefoot of the front foot. And I want you to find a sense of friction under your heel. Like I wanna slide the heel forward in space, but the friction under my heel isn't letting me. So now that you've found that friction, like I, wanna, I can't slide the foot forward, the friction is preventing me. I want you to, as you bring your mass forward, traction off that friction and really see if you can feel a sense of length on the tissue of the bottom of the foot. And just back off, raise the forefoot, find the friction. I can't slide my heel forward because friction is preventing me very clearly. And then I'm gonna, as I bring my mass forward, traction off that friction, bring my mass forward. I should end up on the front foot with my tripod, knee tracking slightly to the inside torso upright. And I'm so far forward over the front foot, I could lift the back foot. Let's do it two more times. Lift the forefoot, find your friction. Traction off that friction as you bring your mass forward, feeling a sense of length in the tissue on the bottom of your foot. And back off, and last time, lift the forefoot, find your friction, traction off that friction as you bring your mass forward. Anytime you wanna test, this isn't really part of the exercise, but it's a test. Okay, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. And that's part three of our multi-part series on optimal pronation mechanics or how to receive your mass.